the assistant has run off. Welcome to this episode of My Wife Hates This Car. I hope this video finds you in plentiful supply of sardines. In this episode, I'm going to go through cleaning the uh, the larder, um, along with how alcohol, when drank, helps with the cleaning process. Um, as you can see here with this silent video, um, this is the state that I found uh, that I find the larder in after taking the seats out. So let's get to it. This is what I found in a few places. Stuff. The bare steel and the well not the bare steel but oh so I see I still haven't I still haven't been underneath the car. So I don't know what's Oh, that's a big bit. Ah. I think there's a lot of welding to be done. Don't you think? Same over there. This side isn't too bad. But I saw a pull of water over there. When I would ask went to the car outside, as well as here, so it's to be expected. It's amazing, even in lockdown, I haven't had a chance to do much uh, with the car. But um, Saturday now, so um, we've got a bit of time. Um, Looking there, that's where I got to. I opened the, able to open, managed to open the back door. But as you can see, there's a reason why it wouldn't open. It's all very crusty on the inside there. Looks a little bit busted. Hmm. A lot of, there was overspray there. Oh well, doesn't matter. Um, got rid of the. Get rid of that. All of that. In here as well. I've got a bowl of water because I'm gonna clean this in situ. I mean, I've already made a start, but it's just difficult, really. Um. But I was recommended something. This stuff. It's about £2.50 from uh, Rawkinson's or anywhere that's... Sorry. I was recommended this. It's £2.50 from anywhere that sells um, uh, any JML products. It's supposed to be really good. Um, we've also got a bucket of water. So if you wanted to wash it all down with, usual PPE applies. I've only got one of these and I'm having to keep using this one because I you can't buy them. And even for a five pack of these ones that I paid ten pound for for a pack of ten twelve months ago, the one hundred and fifty quid. So thanks coronavirus, but no good no good for me. But yeah, so today is very much just want to sort out cleaning. All of that, um, <clears throat> and see pillar things here. I do need to take the the rear window out really to get them out properly. But uh, I'm, I mean, I've already taken started taking that one out, and that's how I realised that you need to um, I need to take the rear out because you can see here very rusty. Um, these clips hold the headlining on, but they also hold. Hold on, it focuses. Yeah, these things, they hold the headlining on, but they also hold these these things on. And I've seen some photos where these have little um plugs that go into these holes here to to um hold them in. Haven't got that, but then we. <laughs> Because I think the the door cards are past it, really. Well, some of them are. That one definitely is. That one isn't. This one probably is as well. Because uh, it's just hardboard, isn't it? You know, this stuff. 
Um, so when it gets water, when it gets any sort of water damage, um, damp or it tends to fail. So um, I'll be replacing that. But whether I replace the vinyl things, which you can see there, or not, I'm not sure. Um, I might do something different. I don't know. But I'll just keep that there for the moment before I wreck it because it might go back on. It might not. Who knows? I don't know. Also, before I get forget, um, bit of alcohol. Or if you don't drink, whatever you go for tea, maybe I don't know. Also, a lovely thing to use when cleaning. Um, not for its cleaning properties, but just for the fact that it's something nice to drink while you're, uh, you know, ankle deep in 40 years of Soviet Union germs and other lovely stuff like that. Ooh. Right. <sighs> Thought I'd show you the difference between, you know, between this stuff And this stuff, what I used last week. So, there you can see the bright, the bright uh, one on the right hand side. If you don't know your left from right, that one. That's with that stuff. The darker, the darker stuff is with silly so bang. So no, bang and the dirt isn't gone. Not even so much as a whimper. Right, so after about an hour of um, cleaning, that's what the headliner looks like. That's my dog making the seal noises. As you can see, as you can see, way better than the mould that it was covered in. Tomorrow, door cards, I think. If there is any confusion as to how dirty the headlining was, that's what the water looks like. I think the white stuff is the, the product I was using. Um, Right, so the next plan is to remove the door cuts. And I think there was an armrest here, which was held on by two screws like that underneath there. So just come off. Um, the door handle was already taken off. I need to take that off. Then this will come off. Um, only problem here with, the, with this one. Just someone's already had a go at the at the um, the screw here, so it's been rounded off. Well, it's making it difficult to get it off anyway, but we shall persevere. So I managed to get the um, the window winder off. Um, Google wasn't helpful because obviously I don't want to break anything. But if you can, well, that's what it's like to begin with. And you have to um, somehow prise that apart like this. And then inside there, can't really see it. See it there, but I can show you here. There's a little clip. This clip. So that, you can see there, there's two little lugs there and there, which hold on to this part of the door. So obviously when you when you got it, you can't pull it off because it's... Um, because it's going against these these two um, the two lugs in there. So all it was was that when you pull back that plastic thing, 
he will do that. This one from there was a lot easier to do than that one. Um, but basically you just have to push that clip back and then the clip will pop off and then this will come straight off. It's quite clever really. Okay, so the next part now is to, to, is to remove this. So once you've got rid of that, you should have a door handle like that. And you have a little armrest. Or it is a case of it's getting under it and just pulling it off, apparently. Well, I'm pulling something. There's two ants. Okay, so I've gone around the whole side as you can see. The top trim isn't part of the door card, so it just comes, slides off. see inside there where the door um, thing to stop the door flying out is kept but the this trim I think we'll just pull driven by by these things Ooh. sorry judging by these things if we just push it that way it'll be fine Right, so that that screw refuses to come out. I have these um, screw extractors, and they do nothing. Um, you're supposed to drill a hole into the a pilot hole into the screw. I did then try and get this in doesn't this doesn't take and you need to push on it and all that sort of stuff so plan B is the Dremel with that blade the only blade I've really got because that kit's a load of rubbish um, but to cut a slot in the head of it which I think you can see what you would have seen there a second ago. But I have also cut in there. Because this is just so small in here really. Um I might try and try and do is uh with the centre punch to try and hit it that way so at least it breaks the um whatever's holding it. I think it's rusted in. Because obviously this door, you know, that's really bad actually. Um, you know, I think there's a lot of water that's gone in this door, or at least around here, this section. So, you know, I'm trying to keep this as much as I can, but um, if needs must, I'm just gonna have to break it off. Because the other, the only thing is the, t the other two here came off, no bother. But uh, that side just refuses to go. Um, well, the Dremel worked, as you can see. However, that's still the screw stuck in there, and I think we can confirm. But rusted in. So how did they get it off? Pulled it off. The screw got so hot it melted the plastic. So if you see the get my hand out of the way. Big hole, medium sized hole. Well it's medium proper sized holes. That's alright though. Um a little bit of you know damage but 
you know what, it's on the other side, you'll never see it unless of course you watch this video. So um, yeah, now just to get that screw out, door handle, that, and then door card. So with a little help from this stuff, and this stuff, and brute force provided by a very weak looking lager, and these t and these um, grips got rid of the offending bolt. Marvelous. Okay, more progress eventually. Um, obviously, I left that door handle on because um, I think the other one that might be broken. So that's why I was already off. But as far as I'm, well, that's broken anyway, isn't it? Okay. Yeah. Wall inside there is rotten. Not, I wouldn't say it's too bad, but be a lot of rust, uh, a lot of uh, rust fixing before any Rover K series goes into here. I think. So. As you can see, one door card, two door card, closing door, three, four door cards. Okay, so other than the little map there, you can see that way on the transmission tunnel. That's, um, that's the only bit left to go but I got bored so you know seeing how bad that dish is all gone so to be fair it's about the same better all the trim by the way but it's the same as the um over the other side, but this is still soaking wet and it's been here a week. I need to do something. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. It's really crusty in there. That's too well. It's solid. Well, obviously the water is getting too. Bad. Oh, that's really bad. I think that's tomorrow's job. Really, is to start. Um, probably, I need to bag and tag all these. But um, yeah, I think tomorrow's job. Lunchtime job will be to um, get as much of this out as I can, all of this. Same with that side as well, and see the state of the metal underneath. Right, <clears throat> pardon me. Mm. Okay, so as you can see, door cards are gone. And it's a lot cleaner inside here now, as you can see. Took the mat off there, tore it a little bit, but it doesn't really matter, it's not going back on. Um, the last bit I need to do until I can see everything on the floor is to get rid of this um this insulation. As you can see it's a it's like a rubbery type of thing with you know um underlay underneath it. So I'm just gonna take that up now.
as you can see this is all very wet oh, lovely it's right there let's see it's past it going to show you something shortly but it's to be expected really all this seam sealer for the length of time it's been on there you know I don't know when uh, when all of us how you say them in English um, you know when they first got this car or came up with the idea of it how long was it you know well how long was it gonna last you know with the hoping on victory in the cold war to get hold of the opulent yank tanks you know oh can't see this oh god Oh fucking floor. See so see parts like there you can tell not too bad obviously the water's got in underneath here between between the water and the, the water the sound deadening and the steel some bits and pieces now, do you know what sorry if I haven't said it before I sort of half knew this one would be an easy you know straightforward mighty car mods type of uh, project there's going to be some graft and graft is what we got it's just annoying that this side this driver side wasn't mentioned as an issue fucking hell pardon my own my own lay the connect it. Oh, there's still more to come off. More s sound deadening. So, uh, more to come. Just doing this to see how how much of the rock is uh, being hidden. That seems all fairly. Are you alright? Maybe what's under here though? Yeah, he 
gun or dry ice it'll sort of break off it's a little patch it's only surface rust it's not too bad here is kind of bad screwdriver through which is something all right he says right because it's getting a bit dusty in there um kind of short on masks as well um and i'm also short on a dustpan and brush so i can't clean this up properly so um that's been ordered on amazon that'll take about four months to get here now because of this stuff but in the meantime it's got the car um, I thought I need to, you know, start buying bits and pieces, necessary things, um, to get this project going on or oh, moving. So, cause I knew there'd be rust and there'd be new metal going on it. I bought this stuff. Um, the whole story about primer on bare metal or, you know, doing anything with rust. It's an absolute minefield, but doing a lot of research. Um, built hammer, built hammer, sorry, come up a lot. So I decided to go with them and you can see the, the product test. I mean, obviously people say, oh, you got red primer, which I was looking for, but apparently red primer isn't the red primer that it was back in the day. The, back in the day, on only 32, I don't know, I'll give you a clue. Um, so, go with this um we'll see how happens because to be quite honest i don't want to be here in five years time having to do all this again no matter how funny um so yeah that's that and um i thought because of the seam sealer in there as you saw earlier on there is it's, it is coming away so obviously i want to get rid of the old stuff and put the new stuff in especially when we're welding fresh metal onto um onto the car and the floor pan which now brings me on to let me get my lead out the door sheet still there i can't remember how what size it was i need to double check um but yeah so i bought 1200 mil by 600 worth of it because well i knew that one over there hole there needed doing didn't know about this but i think that might be all right obviously there's a little there is a bit to do around here where it is actually gone straight through and it's just crumbling away that one you just saw a striking with the with the screwdriver a la car sos seemed all right so that's next door's dog driving my dog mental but anyway um probably we're not going to see much of the other thing i bought oh there it is that box there it's an engine stand for when i get the k series out and do the work on that now these are bits that just come out of the come out of here so these two black bits you'll see in other videos or the photos they are the trim that go along there if i can just put my, that bit along there Mm. Mm. Well, that. that's coming off there that'll probably go back on there are some visors um they'll probably go on after a refurb they'll clean up i think well it's the same material as um the uh what do you call it the the roof liner 
that's just the bags of the bolts and the, the screws and everything. So I've kept, um, I've ordered uh, tags, labels for them because hopefully this box now will go somewhere where um, it'll come out after I've all done, but everything's in there, like, you know, the door hand, the uh, handles that you put above the door, um, rear view mirror, seat belts. Don't know where the seat belts will go back on. Um, I might take the ones if I can out of the out of the uh, rover. Um, and that's it, really. Uh, I think you leave it there. You've seen me got everything as boring as it was. Um, once once I get a mask and um, I could reuse the old one, I suppose. But, you know, with everything going on at the moment, it's difficult to get anything. Screw fix or um, they're not selling it to the public, they're just donating them to uh, the NHS, which is fair enough. Um, although, if builders are still working on sites and stuff, I don't know how they're going to manage, but it's not for me to, to say. Um, so, yeah, I think next time in the next video, you'll see a lot more of the bare metal um, underneath this thing when I get get most of the sound ending that's lifting up and then clean this up inside and then we can get it on Jackson. Yeah, we can see the state of it underneath. Oh, I need to take these off as well. Somehow. I watched a video actually where they just I think they just get like um the old tin openers and they just start prizing it all the way up along. So I need to keep that. I like the chrome. I want to get more chrome. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hope you liked it. If you have, please leave a comment or and or like it. Uh, good or bad, not, not fussed. Uh, and subscribe and share it if you find it interesting. I'll see you again.